Hello everybody, look back once again, this time to break down everything we know about Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Now, this is part of the Final Fantasy 35th anniversary that's in full swing, and one of the big parts of the celebration is this new game that's reportedly going to be a retelling of the original story. Though it also talks a lot about how time repeats in the trailer, giving some people the hope that maybe there'll be some type of explanation about how all these different stories are tied together, much like how the Gundam franchise tried this once with one of their series to mixed results. We'll have to see how it goes. That's all speculation. This new action RPG game is being built by Team Ninja in partnership with Square Enix. And even though this game has received a lot of criticism because of its early trailer, it does have a lot of positive talk around it. So we're gonna be diving into it, taking a look at everything we know and what you should expect to see come from it. In this video, we're gonna be breaking that all down from what we've found online. But first, if you're new here, help us grow this brand new channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world around you in the world of gaming. By hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that thumbs up, you let YouTube know you enjoy what we do. All right, now everything we know about Final Fantasy's Strangers of Paradise. All right. The first thing you need to know is this is going to be a retelling of the original Final Fantasy story, though this is more of a remake than a remastering, much like how Final Fantasy VII's remake is an exact retelling of the original story. This game won't be a retelling of the original uh, Final Fantasy game from the 1980s on the Nintendo NES. Once again, your goal here is to kill Chaos. Though, look for a lot of side missions to be included in an expanded universe. One of the big things that seems to be coming to this game is light puzzle solving. Though, they're very clear that this is an action RPG and will work very hard to maintain its action RPG nature. The game will be have a cross of combat based on the team-based combat you saw in the Final Fantasy VII Remake and the combat systems you've seen in Team Ninja's own RPG games. Look for this to be a blend of both Final Fantasies, um, Traditional Combat, and Team Ninja. Now, there will be some returning classes, including Swordman, Black Mage, and Lancer, will once again be returning to Final Fantasy here with this game. Exactly how you'll develop those, how those classes will work, are still unknown. Currently, the game is set to be released on March 18th, 2022 for the PS5 and PC. You'll be able to get the game on PC through the Epic Game Store. Now, there's a lot of questions here, a lot of big concerns. The original trailer definitely did not go over well. So the subsequent trailers and gameplay videos have opened up people's eyes who've been a little bit more interested in it. Though the look and feel of the game definitely put some off earlier on as they're worried that this is maybe too far of a diversion from the original Final Fantasy game. Many have wondered what that will mean, what that will look like. I'd love to hear what you think. Do you think this game is going too far away? Are you at all excited about the rumored idea that this could tell you more about how the game works and how all the Final Fantasy VII universe comes together into one thing? Or do you think that doesn't really need to be happening? I think one of the greatest points of success that Final Fantasy has had has been the fact that the games are all, for the most part, standalone. So with a few sequels and a few expansions or different side games with it. But not being tied to one single story has been a huge help to keep the Final Fantasy world all running and allow the creators to hit that big fat reset button and allow them to do something new and fresh with it. We'll have to keep a close eye on this and see how it all works out, but I'm very excited. Definitely a lot of big characters will be returning and a lot of big uh, moments in the game are coming back at, from the original game. Past that, how much will this be like the original game? I would expect it to be pretty different from the looks of it and from what we're hearing. So keep that in mind. Are you excited? Leave me a comment, let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here as we dive in, learn all we can about new games, and break them down into easy to understand short videos just like this one. Thanks for your support. We'll be back with another video real soon.